What's going on guys, this is Marvin. Welcome back to another episode of Flex Rocks and Rollovers. We are in beautiful Black Moose, our local private property wheeling spot here north of Atlanta. Gorgeous little place, just accessible for a couple of us. It's got a wakeboarding course and we have a dirt bike track here in the back and mountain bike single tracks all over and then a whole bunch of jeep trails and rock crawling back in these woods. Welcome. Um, this property is called Black Moose Private Property. Um, the owner is gracious enough to let us use it. Um, there's a big loop that wraps all the way around the property. As long as you stay on that outer loop, that's considered your entry level stuff. Um, then obstacles go from the top of the mountain down. There's uh, about five trails that go all the way up and down and then intertwine between that. Um, there's a couple of rock gardens, a waterfall, uh, a rock river, which is super cool. Um, a couple of really fantastic hill climbs that as a novice, they are actually easier than they look. So if you want to get your adrenaline going, the hill climbs are fantastic. We're having Eric's LS3 Elite JK here to take it on its maiden off-road run for its very first time. And we also got Bert in his YJ. You remember this one from like two or three episodes ago. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> see that green jeep from instagram john stokes you want to see a feature on this one let me know in the comments if we should do an episode about that green jeep this is banana con it's a 2001 grand cherokee um it's got the it's got jk rubicon uh, 44s with uh, four tens and the e-lockers uh, Aero B 4x4 bumper, worn winch. Um, it's got the Clayton 6.5 inch or 6 inch long arm kit. Uh, we got Bilstein shocks. Trail ready rear bumper. DBM um, trail armor. We got the, the new Artec modular uh, rear truss. Solid uh, div covers. Cool man, what, since when did you, have you had it? I've had it for about a year now. Okay. I owned it for about a year. Um, bought it out of Connecticut from a guy. Um, he did most of the work to it, but uh, it's been one of the best Grand Cherokees I've ever had. What motor is in it? Uh, 4.7. Nice. Got 120,000 miles on it, so. That's awesome. Still stock motor, stock transmission, stock transfer case. It's got a 242 HD. Uh, the Tom Tom Woods uh, drive shafts, slip yoke eliminator. It's been a it's really, really sweet machine. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much, Andrew, for the quick walk around of your amazing WJ called the NannyCon. Have you ever seen a WJ Grand Cherokee build up like this? I sure haven't seen that many around yet, so I really like this thing. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. On the same trip, I met a guy that owns a Jeep Wrangler TJ that is a rather mild build, so I wanted to hear what all he has done to it. The Jeep is called the Johnny Quest Jeep, so let's see what he's done to it. I really like this thing. Basically what we've done is uh, got with Mike and John and we put uh, Rubicon JK 47s, uh, 44s in there, um, front and back. Uh, we've gone with uh, coilovers, uh, everything's custom front and back. We've got metal cloak on the front half with their lock and load system. The back half is a custom four link. Um, God, we've tried to lower it. We tried to extend. We did extend it, stretch it out about 100-inch wheelbase. We've uh, uh, lowered it, 
stretched it and uh, took it out to Moab here a couple weeks ago and it did really, really well. So um, awesome. kinda, that's the place to test it. That's oh yeah, place. yeah, it was kind of what we were trying to get it ready for and uh, built for and it, it, it worked really, really well. We've, I mean, got a few little things to tweak out on it, but uh, but for the most part, really, really happy. We we ended the week doing cliffhanger, and that's not for the faint of heart. So um, <laughs> went through it, didn't have to winch, and didn't tear anything up. So uh, it was all good. Awesome, Bill. Very cool Jeep. Have fun today. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Hey, it's Mark Armstrong. Um, bought this Jeep from uh, Danny Kinder. He built it, so I can't really take credit for that part of it. Um, it's a 98 TJ, uh, somewhat. Dana 60s front and rear, Detroit locker in the rear, 538 ARV up front. It's got a uh, Mopar 318 V8, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Is this your first time taking it out? No, right? No, it's about, I got it in May. It's to be my fourth time out. So. Awesome, but your first time here at Black Moose, right? With this one, yeah. Yeah, it's yep. a good time, man. Thank you very much. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Locked and loaded. We got a bunch of really, really awesome Jeeps together today. Let's hit the trails. Get it dirty. Yeah. So now we're at the rock garden, which is kind of cool. We like uh, the owner here of this property put together a little tire and rock garden right behind this wakeboarding lake. So it's pretty awesome, cool place to mess around and have fun with. Have a couple of rigs going up the rock garden. It continues quite a bit. I'm not sure if we're going to do the whole thing, but it's fun to watch. Give it there and then just bump. More, more of a bump. It's rubber, you're not gonna hit anything. Oh, I know. There we go. Look good on camera though. I think it could be some smoke. <laughs> yeah. Try to drive it out. Let's try to back you up. I'm going to put it on this yeah, side. Yeah, try to drive behind that tire. I just want the tire to really grab it. Yeah. So here it is. See if you can get. Yeah, that's what I want. There we go. There we 
we go. Let's try. Hey, I would go over there and kind of cut it, cut it this way, and then cut it over there. Or you think if I go up on the left side, all the way here on the left side? Yeah, you can try that too. Hey, how's it going? Can you give me a quick rundown on your Jeep? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, 2004 Wrangler LJ Unlimited. Um, it's got uh, basically Rubicon 44s in it with chromoly axles, front and rear, uh, 48 gears, ARBs front and rear, uh, rock crawler, a long arm suspension. I uh, wanted to keep it kind of low. Pretty much all the armors, Poison Spider, uh, all the way around. Um, so. What motor you got in there? So I have LY660 um, with a Stage 2 cam uh, from Brian Tooley Racing. So, um, you know, hoping it pushes somewhere in the low fours for uh, for horsepower. It's amazing. Um, Can we pop the hood? Yeah, I absolutely. See it. Nice. That looks amazing. Yeah, so I did the LS3 intake on it just to have like the, the car intake so it sat a little lower, looked a little cleaner. I'm not a big fan of the truck intake. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's got the traditional shorty headers, you know, block huggers in there and uh, magna flow out the rear. Um, so it runs smooth, it's a six speed trans, uh, six L80. So a little, little lower first gear than traditional like four L80s. Um, you know, which I wanted for off-road and six speed on the highway is awesome. I mean, I can run 70 miles an hour at 2,000 RPMs, so it's pretty sweet. Um, Very cool. How long have you had it? Uh, I've had it for three years, so it's kind of been through, like everyone else, been through like three stages, you know what I mean? Just like, oh, I'm just going to keep it on the road and, you know, stick it on 37s and then one thing, you know, snowballed into another. Um, but. I love it. I've had a bunch of Wranglers, um, but I always wanted an LJ. Yeah, I love LJs, man. This one turned out really nice, man. Super clean. I love I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. percent driver <laughs> good to see you take it into the trails man definitely yeah i was getting a lot of heat when they first uh, when you first posted it oh that's normal it's a small crawler you're like come on guys yeah, i just got true. it yeah. and that's what nobody got really you know yeah. people just see a jeep and assume it needs to be trashed on immediately yeah thing i just built so i don't blame you at all it'll have its battle scars yeah definitely 
Hey, Marvin. Good job, buddy. There you go. How did it feel? It like I was climbing a tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was it for today. We had a freaking blast. Here at Black Moose in Georgia with the Jeep Tech gang and a couple of their customers. We had a freaking ball. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, let me know what was your favorite Jeep of this whole trip. Let me know in the comments. See you next time. Flex rocks and rollovers. Bye bye.